Listen to Dungeons with Dudes. A podcast with dudes. Dungeons. Dragons. And flagons. Every other Sunday on the Journey into Comics Network. Following the following journey into comics. 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 Network. 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 Production. Production. I'm a dude who likes brews. It's time for brews with dudes. Ah, juicy. Good evening and welcome to another episode of Brews with Dudes. I'm your host, Nick Maxson, sitting down here once again at the North End Pub with Mr. Casey Taylor. How's it going, Casey? Good, good. How are we doing out there? I'm doing good. Uh, I've been here for a couple hours now warming up uh, for this 18th Street Tap Takeover. Uh, we We started the audio for the podcast. We haven't started the live stream yet. You want to click that blue button there? This we'll get guy them, we'll, right here. We'll get them going there, too. Uh, they don't need any further introduction, I don't think. We'll just give them the the peace sign. They know we're in. They know we're here. Um, so, uh, like I said, we are, uh, we're partying down at 18th Street tonight. Um, one of my longest standing favorite breweries. Um, they're up in the uh, northwest Indiana. The region. The region, as they call it. It's a region rat brewery. Um, it's up near the Three Floyds and whatnot. Um, so we are, uh, we got five different beers from them tonight down at the pub. Um, we're going to, after we do this podcast, we're going to get a Mario Kart tournament going on. Um, I'm going Toad the whole way. Toad? I, I see people posting online, like, asking about favorite characters and who you play. No one says Toad. And I'm like, y'all are wrong. That's why you're a bunch of fucking losers. I played a lot of Toad and Yoshi. Yeah. I always felt like Toad and Yoshi had the quickest vehicles. So, but yeah, I mean, plus, I mean, you can't ever go wrong with Mario or Princess. I know. There's lots of, there's lots of good options, and especially with these later ones, we're playing on the Switch, which is pretty much a direct port of the Wii U one. Um, they got the weights and everything. It's so, like if you're using a tiny character as opposed to Bowser, you're going to have different. They're going to play different because I remember are Bowser back in the day was absolutely pointless to have. Yeah, him and it, DK. Yes, it was like he literally max speed was like thirty, and everybody else was going eighty to a hundred. It was like, a mess. It was a mess. Um, so, without further ado, let's jump into the first one. I think we decided on the Candy Crushable. Cool can. Uh, pale ale with lactose sugar added. It's a very cool can. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Let's dive in and see what we think. Oh, like I said, candy. Yeah, we drank one of these earlier this week, and crushable is the right word. You can definitely drink a lot of these. And it's nice, too, because isn't this like 5.5%? Yeah, it's not yeah. bad at all. It says it's a session IPA. Drinking friendly? Yes. Yes, we're uh, – I think I think this is how I started my night. Um, I've kind of been jumping through them already. There's a lot of really good ones. Um, we got Rise of the Angels, Temporal Purgatory, and uh, The Chasing Paper – um, as well as the Hunter. I've never had the actual Hunter. I've had the variants. So I've had Cherry they vanilla. Hunter. They have Vanilla. They've got um, they had a Cherry one that I just had not long ago. Yeah, I was looking on Untapped. I didn't realize they had all the flavors. They had a, pe- a Pepper one. Like yeah, because Pepper one. 18th Street's definitely like your guys' beer. Like, yeah, I, the you weird. guys totally introduced me to 18th Street. I had nobody ask me about it. No one talked to me about it. Like, you guys were definitely the first guys to tell me to go drink some 18th Street and get some 18th Street. They're all about the IPAs and the pails. Um, but then, again, you know, the Hunter, they've got a killer stout series. They've got a, an event they do every year. Um, it's the Barrel Massacre, where they just release a bunch of beers that they've barrel-aged. So they, they really got the IPA pail game, and then they've got the stout game as well. Also, didn't uh, one of my reps, Matt Violante, was talking to us. It was 18th Street, right, that has no contract with any hops farms, right? That right. they're constantly always going to different hops farms and trying different hops just to kind of, I guess, mix up their beer or have the ability to mix up their beer. And there's different places releasing all sorts of different stuff all the time. Like, I just saw one a brewery I really like. Um, they said that they, they had some hop in one of their beers that I'd never even heard of. So people are constantly 
I think crossbreeding the hops and making different kinds, different strands and whatnot. Um, it's fantastic. I'm a big fan of 18th Street. That was very, very crushable. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, that was in the can, right? No, that was on draft. No, no, no. Uh, Candy Crushables in 16-ounce can. The Hunter's in a 16-ounce can. And then the other three were on draft. We haven't discussed this at all, but if I have my way at all, we'll, we'll definitely be ordering more 18th Street. Because when we looked at the list, Casey and I both sat down, and he's writing a list. He's got four or five things. I've got four or five things. A couple overlap, but we've got different things. They, they had a huge list of of really interesting sounding stuff so we just got to stay up on there because it's funny because like when i get a list it'll be like one available one six barrel available and you're like well f- all right fuck shit you know order like t- yeah like hey do you guys have it right now and they're like well i can see but yeah they actually they've definitely gotten a lot better as far as giving me that kind of option instead of just always giving me a list and then i end up placing an order and four of the five things are like yep that's out that's seasonal that's yeah. out yeah yeah, it's sad seeing the Hunter stuff because they're like, oh, we've got this kind of Hunter. And I'm well, like, that's oh, what I thought. I was that. like, cherry, vanilla, like, I'm I'm way in. And then, nope, that's those aren't out right now. Although the yeah. original Hunter is good. It is we good. finished with that. Oh, yeah. It's a milk stuff. It's def- definitely going to ride over the majority of this stuff. So temporal purgatory. That's what we're on next. This is the pale, this is the pale ale, a session. session pale ale. So another session. Yep. All right. Let's see what we got. Cheers. Arguably more crushable. This is probably the darker one. It's a little darker than uh, in terms of color than the last one we just had. Yeah. Um, the chasing paper is by far the lightest. I like this one. It's um, it's it's not too bitter, but it does have a, a, a little bitter punch. Uh, you could definitely drink a lot of it, though. That's what I always think, like, the ones we've had so far is we've had some beers. You know, like, we had Southern Tier, and I thought their beers were great, but it was like a pint and done. Big you beefy know, boys. Yeah, they were like 8 10%, a lot of flavor, but it was a one and done. I mean, we, we had some idiots drink, like, five of them and end up with a rough night. <laughs> Sean. <laughs> yeah. I'll call Sean. him out. I'll call you out, buddy. Who brought you? Love you. That was Nick. Damn it, Nick. Um. So that one, that one goes down super easy. That's one of my favorite things is when you warn somebody about an imperial stout. When you warn somebody about that it tastes good, but like you might want to pace yourself. They laugh at you, drink five of them, which is the equivalent to about fourteen beers, yeah. and then ninety minutes later are calling an Uber and look awful, and they're Puke, shocked. puking on the side of yeah. the building. I'm fine, dude. You're puking outside. You're not fine, Sean. Sean, love you, bud. But fuck. All right, so we're moving right along. We're making this what we, we call it the quick and dirty. Um, uh, we Rise just, of Angels. Yeah. So uh, this one has a we. This one's on draft, I believe. It um, is. But I've seen. I've had this one in the cans, and it's beautiful. It's got. It's very pink. Um, it's, it's a very attractive can. So. Man, it's really light for like almost an eight percent. It's definitely hazier than the other ones we've had. But it's incredibly crushable for eight percent. That's always give kudos to 18th Street. Is a lot of their beers are very, very drinkable, multiple drinks. I mean, that's what I do like is when you can sit down and have three or four IPAs and not have to just be, yeah, you know, have one and then dumb down to your PBR or whatever your lesser beer is. It took me years to all day IPA that the two hearted was so heavy. I just drank them because they were so good. And it's like, dude, that's 7%, Yeah, man. The, the old Vault 32-ounce mug. You drank a couple of those, and you're Thanks, in trouble. Thanks, dickhead. Yeah. You're in trouble. Thanks. Hey, what are your sizes? You have one got? option, 32 ounces. Ah, Mac joining in. Hey, BK. How's it going? Good to see you, man. I just hung out with him earlier today. We're always scheming. Um, we're back on the uh, the food truck life. We're talking about that possibility again. Um, I think we're all just on that make make ends meet having fun kind of thing so uh we're still pushing forward on on all the on the brewery stuff we're, we're making a lot of progress on the brew fest that we're doing down here it the, the more we talk about it and the more pieces fall together the more the more i, I realize it's it's happening like we're doing yeah it. it's gonna i was be thinking fun. about that yesterday when i saw you out there with your walking just walking it off in the parking yeah. lot like yeah this is going to be going down it's happening uh 
for for those who are listening who haven't quite caught on yet, we're doing what we are calling the Lafayette Brews and Bowling Fest. So what you're going to do is you're going to buy a ticket, and you're going to get to sample anywhere from 20 to 30 different breweries from uh, Indiana and around uh, the state. And with your ticket, you're also able to uh, go into the bowling alley and bowl. Um, you know, if it's super busy and we got 300 people, you might only get to bowl once or twice. But if it's not terribly busy, you might be able to bowl fucking 10 times. Walk outside, grab a beer, come back in and bowl. Um, then we're going to have a crazy after party. We're going to have bands during the day. And some of you guys haven't gone to some of these breweries. It's an opportunity for us to bring something to you guys without you guys having to travel far. Because we can get Nate Phillips joining in. Oh, Shout pod. out to Nate Phillips. Podfather. My res- wrestling nerd brother. Yep. Yeah, he's definitely all about it. Wrestle, love some talking wrestling with Nate Phillips. We need to get a group of us to go to one of the big ones. Like, it's my dream is the Rumble. I want to go to the Rumble. So. Yeah, that would be awesome. And even like NXT indie when they come around to the Marat, oh, like yeah. we should get. They, they do such well, a good job down there. That's a cool way to go watch NXT because it's just down in Indy. It's always a good show. NXT is the stuff that. Is, is the really cool stuff? Is that right? Yeah, right now, yeah. Like the, the, WWE's doing terrible. Their the product young, the is younger terrible. Guys. Yeah, the guys that are hungry that they're forcing to work their way up. Normally, they just put on a better show. I don't remember the guy's name, but I remember the, it's this it's this little dude. And he he ran across the ring, front flipped over the over the ropes, and then ricochet. It. Ricochet every time, and I'm like, yes, of course that's his name. Yeah, he did that I to like my that dude Velveteen guy. Dream. Yep, Mr. Takeover. Velveteen Dream. That's a cool name. Oh yeah, he kills it. So what do we got next? Chasing paper. We're chasing paper. That's what we were just talking about with, yep. the, uh, with all that fun stuff. So, all right, let's see what we got here. This one's uh, got a nice color. That's golden color. Ooh, it smells hoppy. That's good, too. That's got an interesting uh, bite at the end. That's and actually an, probably my favorite of the three so far. I like American the Pale. American Pale. By far the lightest of the ones as far as color that we have seen. Oh, yeah, definitely. What are we working with here? A little six and a half? Okay. I'll Still not us. terrible. Still yep. not terrible. We're doing all right. We're sitting here next to the Mario Kart screen. See Tanuki Mario, which is just Mario in a fucking raccoon suit. I don't really get it. Uh, Mario Brother or Super Mario Brothers 3. Remember, yeah. that's where they introduced the old... What was it, like one of the falling leaves or something? You turned into a raccoon and took off flying? Yep, that sounds about right. Shout out Mario Brother 3. That was a fantastic game. Yep. Some of you guys weren't alive when it came out. I was, for sure, played on the original NES. Speaking of Mario 3, um, old school era, we got uh, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Game Boy. Back in the day, their Switch is redoing it. Oh, and I it saw looks that. Sexy. Because oh. Sam's playing Zelda right now. She, dude, she's gonna love it. J- Tom's all about it already. So she already did show me that. That is gonna be legit. Yeah, it looks great. It looks really good. All right. Well, like I said, this is a quick and dirty. Um, we usually do it this way for the uh, for the tap takeovers. Um, we don't wanna we don't wanna spend all night here hanging out with our friends, sitting over here recording. So after this, we're gonna get into some Mario Kart. Uh, we got a really fun game called Shit Happens. Um, we've it's been, a good game. It's so much fun. I think that we've played it um, on the Dungeons with Dudes. It's one of our uh, brother shows. Um, we're Brews with Dudes, obviously. We've got Dungeons with Dudes. We're building up the Dude Network. Um, so we're going to have fun. I like. We, we did a couple of top takeovers with uh, um, trivia. And the trivia was fun and stuff, but but I like this format. I like the just playing a game and uh, playing games. Hanging out. So uh, the other thing that's nice about shit happens is you can get a game in with four people in fifteen twenty minutes. Yeah, that's a quick one. I'm gonna try to convince these people to play. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but before that, we're going to jump into the last beer of the night, the Hunter Milk Stout. And if you can't see the can again, they just murder the artwork. It's wonderful. Like somebody spends a lot of time and effort on these cans. It's like old school samurai. They have different kinds of like what would appear old school hunters. Dudes in cloaks. Some Asian samurai stuff. They're all about it. They're all about it. And Good I am forever too. can do that. This one goes to everyone listening on uh, wherever you're paying attention. Spotify, uh, iTunes, Apple Music, whatever the fuck it's called nowadays. We appreciate you guys. And thank you to everyone 
who's been tuning in on Facebook Live. We appreciate that. Oh, we got a shot. We got a challenge. Podfather versus Overlord of Doom. Mario Kart 8. At LaffyCon 5. Challenge accepted. Bring it on. Got to have entrance music. Dude, we I'm got to come from the back. Got to get the curtains going. Oh. Get behind the curtains, play some intro I'm music. Coming. Nothing's better than intro music. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. You come into my town and challenge me. We'll see. We'll see. Um, this is just great. Beefy. It's 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 milky. It's uh Oh goodness. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's eight percent. Sounds about right. Darkness, just pure darkness. Yeah, and me and uh Austin, old Austin Hill who's running around here, we we're talking like this winter I didn't feel like a lot of the good stouts and porters, there wasn't a huge kind of, I guess, variants or new selections, but this was, you know, one of the, this time of year, this is a great beer. Yeah. It definitely warms you up. Yeah. Get a little kick, a little breath taken away. Yep. Just watching Princess do it with coins right now. Oh, yeah. She's getting it. That's Daisy, I think. Oh, is it? Which I don't even know who that is. See, that's what, I got to get my characters right, because I'm stuck in the original eight with a couple other ones, like Wario and stuff, but a couple people come through here, and I'm like, who the f is that? Nate Phillips, you just wait, my friend. You just wait. Um, I think that's it. I mean, we slammed through these. Um, I just kind of took. I, I got to go back through and finish some of mine. But I think in terms of the podcast, we're we're good. Uh, thank you guys for joining us uh, on the quick and dirty, uh, Casey. You, you're pretty busy tonight, so I appreciate you coming over and. Uh, yeah, Barry, play some shit happens in some Mario Kart. Yeah, it's about that time. So uh, if you're not here, you got time to get here. Um, if you're watching on Facebook Live, you can still get here. LaffyCon coming up. We're going to have a lot of fun at LaffyCon. we got we got a couple fun things coming up before LaffyCon. Um, next weekend, we got the Mound Builders 10-year anniversary birthday party. That's going to be great. Um, next month, March Metal Madness. We've got, uh, we've got a Wednesday show with Van Goose and Fudd uh, and Laura Lynn from Lafayette. Um, we got uh, St. Patty's Party, which is going to have so much crazy shit going on. Um, Weedby's playing. We're going to have some comics. Um, what is it, the following weekend? And then the we following weekend, we're teaming up with Journey to Comics Network to do a fun for funds. It's going to be a fundraiser for the network. Which is going to be um, awesome. That's going to be a good time. We got we got a killer lineup of bands. And then and so, so every band playing, they've got members in the bands that are from the podcast. We're going to do some of the podcast live. Um, that's going to be fantastic. Then we got LaviCon the next month. we got a lot of fun stuff coming up. It's hard to keep up with it all. And we're working on a couple tap takeovers between now and then. So Yeah, we we saw this week Nick saw some pretty cool breweries we're excited about. So if we can make it happen, we're going to make it happen. Yeah. Spoiler one of them alert. features the number one beer in the world. Yep. Yep. We're going to have to try that. I mean, it's number one so. beer. I mean, whoever rates that, we got to check it out. Yep. And Nate said that Daisy was from Super Mario Land. Okay, well. Take she, your word. <laughs> she, she, doesn't, she doesn't have a place in my heart, that's for sure. So, All right. Thanks again, uh, Casey, for coming out uh, to do the podcast with us. Thank you to everyone paying attention on Facebook Live. We appreciate you guys. Thank you to everyone paying attention on Podbean, Spotify, Apple Music, Stitcher, all the fun stuff. Goodbye uh, and good night. See you next time on Brews with Dudes. Hey, I'm Morgan Danielle. And I'm Luco Blaze. And you can check us out on www.themetalexperience.com for the latest interviews featuring punk and metal bands from the Chicago area. And on our website, you can read interviews and reviews from bands all over the world in our blog section, either on Reviews from the Crypt or the Let's Chat Q&A sessions. Also, check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And remember to keep it metal.